guys, it's Alice, and today it's time to take a look at the books I got in September. First up, I've got three books that were all sent to me by the publishers, so I thought we would start with those. The first one is one I'm sure you've seen everywhere because it's been everywhere, and it is The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. This is the highly anticipated sequel to The Handmaid's Tale, and it's set 15 years after the storyline of the first book. And we follow three different perspectives, one of an aunt living in Gilead, one of a teenage girl living in Canada, and one of the daughter of a commander also living in Gilead. I've already read this and I made a whole reading vlog about it that you can check out if you want to know more. The second book I was sent is a nonfiction book and it is Now We Have Your Attention by Jack Schenker. This is all about current British politics, which I'm really interested in, but I don't know that much about it because I obviously don't live there. All I really know is that Brexit is an eternal dumpster fire. I feel like a lot of people agree on that. And this sort of takes a look at everything that's happening, but through the eyes of common people, I suppose, which sounds really interesting. Then I got a book in Norwegian, and it is Nora eller Bren Oslo Bren by Johanna Frid. This is a debut that has gotten loads of amazing reviews, and it's all about this young girl who is consumed by jealousy when her boyfriend meets up with his ex-girlfriend. And what I think sounds really interesting about this is that it talks about like checking people's Instagram and getting really obsessed with it. And I think that's really cool because I feel like a lot of books find that really difficult to talk about so they just sort of said it in the past when social media wasn't a thing, if that makes sense. So I'm really intrigued to read this just to see how it deals with all of that. The rest of the books I all got myself, and the first one is The Confessions of Franny Langton by Sarah Collins. I've been eyeing this for a while because I think it sounds really intriguing. It's a historical fiction mystery, and it's about this former slave and servant who is accused of murdering her employer and his wife. And I think it's set both in Jamaica and London, and I don't really know. It's just one of those books that I feel like I'm really going to like. Next, I picked up Camino Island by John Grisham. I've never read any John Grisham, but I really want to, and I found this in a bookstore really cheap, so I just picked it up and I thought I would give it a go. It's a crime novel, and it's about this band of thieves who break into a Princeton library and steal something. I'm guessing a really valuable book. And then we follow this bookseller who occasionally dabbles in the black market, and then this novelist who gets a little bit too involved in all of it. And it sounds really interesting. Then I picked up a cozy mystery and it is A Shot in the Dark by Lynn Truss. I picked this up in a bookshop as well, although a different bookshop from the one I picked up the John Grisham book in, and I just can't ever get enough of cozy mysteries. This is set in Brighton in 1957 and apparently there's like no crime really at all and things are really peaceful and then all of a sudden a person is shot in like the middle of a theater performance. I also picked up Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty. I've heard a lot of really good things about this author and I know she wrote Big Little Lies, but I don't really feel like reading that book because I've seen the TV show so I thought I would try this instead. The story is about these nine strangers who are at this health resort and then as time wears on they start suspecting there's something real weird going on with the owner of this place. Next, I picked up a copy of Melmoth by Sarah Perry. Sarah Perry wrote The Essex Serpent, which I really liked, so I thought I would give this a go as well. I'm kind of assuming by the title that this is like a retelling of Melmoth the Wanderer, but I haven't actually read that, so I don't really know. But it sort of talks about a dark, robed figure roaming the globe in search of victims, I'm guessing. Either way, this is about an English woman living in Prague who like comes across this legend of someone called Melmoth and then weird things start happening when her friend goes missing. Then I got Less by Andrew Sean Greer. This is one of those books that I've almost bought like five times, but then for some reason I never did, so I finally just thought I'm gonna get it already. The story is about this man who is invited to his ex's wedding and he doesn't know if he should say yes or no, so he just sort of ends up skipping town by accepting all of these invitations to literary events around the world. 
I've heard so many good things about this book, so I'm really excited to read it. Lastly, I picked up four books all by the same author because I got some money for my birthday and I decided to get these. And it's these ones by Andrea Camilleri and they're all books in the Inspector Montalbano series. I read the first book in the series a couple of months ago and I picked up these ones even though they're not in like the right order. There are a lot of books in this series so I just picked up the ones that had these covers because these are the ones that I really like and I don't think you need to read these in order. At least I hope not because I'm not gonna do that. So we have got A Voice in the Night, The Snack Thief, Blade of Light and A Nest of Vipers. All of these are set in Sicily and hopefully I will love them as much as I loved the first one. Okay guys, that was everything I had for you today. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you soon. Bye!